Minh Tian green tea means green tea that is made before the Qingming festival. That's it. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're familiar with Chinese green tea, you probably heard of Min Qian. And yes, that's our topic today. If this is your first time stumbling across our channel, hello, I'm Jen from Jen Tea. Uh, we specialize in Chinese tea, and in this channel, I share all kinds of information about the Chinese tea and its culture. If you are a tea lover like us, be sure to subscribe to our channel and learn more about tea. Min Tian means before Qingming. Qingming is a Chinese solar term which usually lands around April the 4th to the 6th. So a lot of times when you see a tea name, it might indicate its cultivar, it might indicate its terroir, its origin. And in this case, when we talk about Min Tian green tea, it's telling you when the tea is plucked. It means the tea was plucked before the Qingming festival. Sometimes you might also see some other terms like Shi Qian or Huo Qian. Shi Qian means before Shi Ri. Uh, Shi Ri is the fifth Wu Ri after Li Chun. This explanation probably generates more question, but let's put that in plain words. Shi Ri usually lands around the spring equinox. So before Shi Ri means before the uh, spring equinox, which is even earlier than Min Qian. Huo Qian means before the Han Shi festival, which usually lands about one or two days before Qingming festival. Among these three tea turns, Min Qian, Shi Qian, Huo Qian, uh, Min Qian would be the one that you hear the most and it's most popular and often used with uh, green tea. Usually when we talk about Ming Qian green tea, uh, there's an implication that this is a better green tea because it's plucked uh, earlier. Is it true? Yes, especially to people who are just getting into Chinese green tea because compared to say tea bag or uh, traditional commercial teas that we have very limited information about teas at least when you hear Min Tian green tea you know a little bit more information about the tea when it's plugged okay it's plugged uh, before April the 5th and there is a good relationship between early plucking vis-a-vis -vis the quality of the tea. So to some extent, Min Tian green tea does mean it's a better quality green tea. However, nothing is absolute. China is a big country with various climate in different places. For example, Yunnan, it's a tropical island. The tea plants there sprouts almost all year round and they can pluck more than 10 months out of 12. Uh, they can start plucking in December. Uh, talk about Yunnan province. Uh, some region in Yunnan started plucking in February or March. In Sichuan or Guizhou provinces, they usually start plucking in early March. So this Mintian green tea concept and its preciousness is really linked to the uh, mid to lower part of Changjiang area. Nowadays, we also have many more new cultivars compared to the old times. Uh, one of which is very famous, Longjing 43, that it's a new sprout. So at the same condition, the traditional the heirloom Longjing cultivar will sprout much later compared to Longjing 43, which you can probably start plucking in early March. So these are just a few reasons why I think as we learn more about tea, our concept about a certain fancy tea turns should be updated. And there's no need to obsess with this Minjian tea. Minjian Wulong and uh, Minjian Pur. Uh, I think these are comedy. <laughs> it's overly unprofessional that make me dub the quality of the tea. 
If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and considering subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep steeping!